Let's delve into the ongoing saga of Royal Dynamics, where tensions run high and ambitions clash in the latest installment we find Meghan Merrill, our protagonist turned antagonist, scheming her grand return to the UK, perhaps envisioning a warm reception fit for royalty however spoiler alert the red carpet is far from being rolled out for her meanwhile King Charles displaying shrewdness and a touch of snubber decides it's time to counter Meg's plans with his own royal finesse and her Duchess Sophie of Edinburgh, appointed with a shiny new role, effectively sidelining Meghan's aspirations of effortless reintegration into the royal fold princess, and also steps up in Kate's absence as if Charles is assembling his own Avengers royal edition. Sophie and Anne are ready to take on the responsibilities and save the day leaving Meghan and Harry to sulk in their Montecito mansion, Buckingham Palace and a statement is loaded as a Thanksgiving dinner highlights this display of duty and dedication presenting Princess Anne and Duchess Sophie as paragon of royal responsibility meanwhile Meghan our would-be protagonist in this Shakespearean drama is left out in the Californian cold, her plans foiled and her ambitious entitlement simmering, and what if Harry and all this once the beloved rogue of the royal family, he is now relegated to the role of Meghan's sidekick in this poorly received production, one can't help but imagine him as a forlorn figure on their lavish estate, reflecting on what could have been if they hadn't traded royal duties for deals with Netflix and Spotify, let's not overlook the fact that Meghan's purported plans for a UK return aren't merely a casual visit for TN Scones reports suggest she is assembling a top team for a new project, because of course, what the British public has been yearning for is Meghan's guidance on how to live their lives preferably delivered through her American Riviera Orchard lifestyle brand, after all the Brits adore. Being advised by Americans on organic living, don't they Rebecca English speaking on a podcast tantalizes us with whispers of Meghan's grand designs to mend their relationship with the royal family and the British public Ah, the audacity after systematically burning bridges with precision rivaling a military operation, Meghan now seeks to repair the damage, however recent polls suggest that the public's response is as chilly as a family reunion, where your tell-all books about them have just been revealed, Harry's popularity hovers in the me region, while Meghan's is even lower, one can't help but wonder if this return plot is another poorly conceived strategy from the Sussex playbook. So there you have it a tale of plots counterplots and royal responsibilities Meghan and Harry seem perpetually at odds with the institution they left behind, it's a saga that continues to captivate frustrate and occasionally bewilder, will Meghan and Harry make their grand return to the UK or will they remain in the gilded exile of their own making only time will tell. But one thing's for sure the British public and the royal family aren't holding their breath. So there you have it folks another day another drama in the saga of Harry and Meghan's quest for redemption I on. But as they say all publicity is good publicity right all right guys thanks for watching. Please subscribe for the latest royal news updates.